Hi, the verses that stuck out to me while reading John 14 were verses 13 through 17, and they read as this. If you love me, you will keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. He is a spirit of truth. The world is unable to receive him because it doesn't see him or know him, but you do know him because he remains with you and will be in you. And while I was reading this chapter, I was also reading Hebrews 5, which talks about Jesus being the higher high priest. And if you don't know what a high priest is, it's the person who goes in between you and God. And back then, the high priest were only allowed to go visit the Holy Spirit once a year, and that Holy Spirit was in the Holy of Holies, which only the high priest was able to visit. If anybody else tried to go into the Holy of Holies, they'd be stricken dead. So... That same Holy Spirit that was back then is talked about right here, and it's talking about giving it to you. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. So that same Holy Spirit is in you, okay? So if nothing was allowed that was unrighteous and unpure in the Holy of Holies, then why would anything unrighteous and unpure be able to enter your temple? Just imagine with me, an anxious thought comes into your mind, okay? Like, I lost my job. How am I going to feed my kids this month? And it just comes in, just like this, and it goes, it dies instantly because it can't go anywhere where the Holy Spirit is because anything in its presence will die. Can you just imagine? Just imagine with me, like every anxious thought. Just when you get an anxious thought, just think of the Holy Spirit dissolving it because it's not allowed into your temple. How amazing is that? God is so good.